What's going on guys, this is Charles with Sambo Creek. So I get a lot of questions, really what is OSN for? What is OSN for? OSN stands for Organic Solvent Nanofiltration. So we are filtering at a nanoscale. So filter paper might take you down to one micron or so, add a whole bunch of zeros before that one, and it takes you at a molecular scale. So we're able to separate particles at a molecular scale. So for example, um, ethanol and methanol are going to be, you know, 30, 50 Daltons or something like that. That's the molecular weight of the solvent. And then cannabinoids, for example, are in the 300 Daltons. So basically what we do is we take a cartridge, a membrane filter that can potentially separate the particle size from like a 30 or a 50 Dalton to a 300 Dalton and that's it. And so these type of systems, they're an energy efficient way to separate particles without, for example, having to go into a vapor phase as into where we're actually distilling or something like that. We're removing particles at a molecular scale. And so what does that allow us to do? Several things. Number one, we're able to remove solvent, pretty much any solvent from your feed. Um, we're able to remove lipids, fats, and waxes because the size is so different from the target that we're trying to get to. We can remove terpenes, we can remove carotenoids, we can remove fats, waxes, chlorophylls, we can remove sugars, and this will work for hemp, it'll work for cannabis, it'll work for a lot of other botanicals based on that same principle, depending on what you're trying to do. This system can help you isolate terpenes. Uh, if you have an HT uh, and you want to just remove terpenes from that, you can do that. Um, if you want to clean up HTE, it can do that. It works on kratom. It works on psilocybin. It works on hemp. It works on cannabis and a whole slew of other plant-based products. Stevia, we've worked on Stevia products and a whole bunch of things. Anything that you want to separate one particle from the other, as long as the two particles have a different enough size that you can actually separate that. And then it depends. This can be in a solvent. It can also be in water. It doesn't need to be in a solvent. So there's a ton of applications for this product. There's the results are stellar and um, it is an extremely energy efficient way to do it. That's why these are such amazing products because the power consumption in these things is just so low. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Catch you the next time.